Hello, this is part four. Um, yeah, enjoy. I'm uploaded for the week because uh, some stuff's gone down in my life. I'll let these guys know about it on my podcast. Yeah, enjoy. I've returned, I've returned. Yes, welcome back. This is part. Four, I think. I think. If it's not, I'm sorry, I'll apologise and fix the annotations, although I'm fairly certain it's part four because the first part was that. So that was that, which is negative. Yeah, 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 I'm on, I'm on part four. Yeah. Woo! Cutscene! I had so much stuff open that it's actually been quite slow to run that, so it's nice. So if you can see these things popping up just now, there's just closes some tabs in the background that might might be slow at all. It's processing that movie, that's what's causing it to be a little jittery. Ah well. This is where we get told all of us to go rendezvous. Rondo? Rendezvous? 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 How do you say that word, guys? Rendezvous? This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The, part, the hard part is still to come. Yeah, that's destroying all of the you know, macro reactors before they have a chance to build any more. And then you've got the even more difficult job of trying to replace the macro reactors because everyone's become sufficient, you know, sustained, everyone's become, you know, used to relying on the macro for electricity, what are we going to use coal again? I'm not letting you go tonight, wow. Isn't there somewhere we could go to be alone, wow. Now these, these this wee couple here makes me think of me and my ex, and you'll find out why. Oh no, I forgot to go listen to the wee fun conversations that happened from the guards. I think I'll go give them a listen to. Or should I just continue on this story? It's, it's, it surely is enough that I know that they're there. Yeah. Cool. Oh, there's Johnny. That's not Johnny, it's, it's some dude. Some dude next to Johnny. Through it this. <coughs> oh god, maybe be unhealthy for you not to buy something, guys. I go buy. Two iron bangles. Or the yeah, they were iron bangles, weren't they? Lol, lol, lol. You were iron wristbands. Poor. All right, yes, but then I'll still be open today. I don't know what he was talking about, I have no idea what he was talking about. Alright, okay, no. I thought it'd be a little bit more interesting than that. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's the... Uh, this was what we just done, man. Calm down. I already knew about that, that was rubbish. Time to go into the old 7th heaven and go see Tifa. The woman with indomitable jugs.
Molly, aren't you going to say anything now? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like it went well. Shut up, bitch. Not this time. Shut up. Don't you notice how guys show off how strong they are by winning fights? Oh, should we give it to Marlene or Tifa? Uh, I'm gonna give it to Tifa. I don't want to seem creepy by giving a little girl with flowers. You should fill the store with flowers. Where are you gonna buy them? Well, I suppose it's, they don't cost much to the gillage. Take me get almost ran over by Barrett. Welcome home, Papa. It's like, would child protective services really let a child that isn't yours? Be raised by you if your arm is a machine gun. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's his right arm. Is, is it his right arm or is his left? We'll, we'll be able to figure, figure that out in a second when I go down and see him. Just, let's get a drink off Tifa. Just depending on what arm it is as well, he was just holding Marlene with his right arm. So if it was his right arm, he was literally holding Marlene with a machine gun. Holding a little girl with a machine gun. As you do, man. Alcoholic cloud in the morning. It wasn't a tough job. Well, yes, it wasn't really, I suppose. But he would have had a little bit of difficulty, I think. On his own. He could have done it on the one cloud, though. Goddamn bad it. Don't worry. Once I get that money, I'm out of here. Bye bye. Are you feeling all right? No. Uh, a little tired. It must have been gone, you know, when he was a uh, macro poison and all that jazz. Anyone from soldier fighting is a day? No. Aye, we wouldn't have survived if there was. No. I think you're a nut job just because you're a nerd. Oh. Look at that, that's pretty cool. The, the TV channel is called Sin. And obviously, Sin's in Final Fantasy X on the room. I wonder if there's any other references to Sin and all that in other Final Fantasy games. Oh, I've just not noticed it. I might have a wee look at it when I'm playing through again and see if I can spot anything like that. Christ, Jesse, get a better PC. Look at that thing. It's got a CRT, cathode ray tube monitor, and everything. Ugh. Oh, bugger off, Tifa. Mrs. I, I don't like how he always does that. He refers to Shinra as the Shinra. He misses the Shinra. Oh, he misses the soldier. Does he not refer to Avalanche as the Avalanche? He should. No, Tifa. I'm not into polygamous relationships. But why should that someone be him? Oh. Oh no guys, this has got the big pearl long cutscene, here it comes. And it's right before the 10 minute cut off point as well. Like I said, every episode is going to be 10 minute long thing. So, uh... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let her say a little bit of our piece. Nah, nah, I'm going to leave it here. I'll let it be. Alright guys, um, thank you for watching and uh, yeah.